Hello friends, my name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co. where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who has been hanging in there over this past week of me not posting videos or really doing content in general. It felt really weird. I'm going to be honest, it felt really weird to not be posting as frequently as I used to and also not crocheting as much as I used to. This week was really me just like doing some real business. <laughs> of business work, getting a new computer, breaking that computer, getting it fixed, getting my setup together. Um, there's still a few things that I want to fix and like fine tune. Um, my other face cam I want to probably update and I need some lighting and maybe a better backdrop but those things are going to come later on. Um, and I, now that I have a better setup, I think I'm going to probably refilm some of the videos, like some of my tutorials. So if you like crochet and yarn related videos, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video so I know to make more videos like this and comment down below. What are your thoughts and opinions? I would love to hear from you. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post new content or go live because that's really fun. And also don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram. Okay, so today's video is a video that I haven't done in a while because I haven't found a project that I abandoned in a while. <laughs> so while I was doing my Easter cardigan, I found this bag right here. Now some of y'all, some of the moms out there might uh, know what this bag is. This is a diaper bag. <laughs> this is a reusable diaper bag like for cloth diapers, which I do cloth diaper my son. And I just love the print of this bag. I got it from Amazon, but I use it as a project bag. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, what's in here? So when I unzipped it, I said, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be a frog it or hog it. Now, if you don't know what frog it or hog it is, either I frog it and use the yarn from some for something else or I call the project and I complete it to what it was intended. So let's first look at what's in this bag. <laughs> okay, so I think, ooh, I don't remember when I started this project. It was a long time ago. Um, I wanna say maybe in December of 2022 maybe so we have our hook in here this is a size five millimeter hook actually i've been looking for that hook for a while <laughs> all right and so we have what looks like wow okay i didn't realize i got a lot more of this project done than i thought i would this was supposed to be a shrug my first cardigan i don't want to put it on because i know it doesn't fit me i think that's why i stopped working on it i'm really obsessed with willow squares so but it has these willow square and then this is also the piece that i learned how to do decreasing and increasing with like you know that part right here so um this was def and i also learned how to crochet in the round for a sleeve so I know it's one of those things where I learned a lot from I learned a lot with this project I think the reason why I would hog it is just because this was definitely a learning experience for me and maybe somebody would want it but I think I'm going to frog it because I really like the yarn I'm not gonna lie I really like this yarn and I see people using this yarn in hexagon cardigans which very interested in doing i will link that pattern down below i don't know i don't think shrugs are my style anyway i mean it was fun to work on it but honestly i don't like it and i wouldn't wear it and i can't wear it because it's too small so i am going to frog this piece so join me as i frog it <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we are back from frogging the pieces <laughs> that I wanted to frog. So here we are. So I decided to keep this part, right? And I was like, if I wanted, cause I really liked the willow squares, right? I really liked how the willow squares came out. And what I wanted to do was keep the willow squares and maybe make it into a baby blanket. Um, and just like continue it how I was doing it maybe adds like some other stuff but I think that would be nice so I'm gonna keep it and frog it to that point but this is how much yarn I reclaimed right isn't this so pretty I just love these colors so much I would highly recommend this one um, if you like the color it is the Caron or Karen jumbo ombre in the color white water this is what the tag looks like i got mine from joanne so i'll link it down below if you're interested and because i already know i had a five millimeter hook i'm going to keep it with that and just work on it probably sporadically maybe keep it in the car <laughs> and i'll give y'all an update on it when i complete it but i'm not in any rush to complete it which is that bad is this technically the first hog and frog because i'm technically like frogging half of the project but i'm hogging a certain part of it to make it into something else hmm interesting i never realized that that would be an option but yeah you guys let me know what you think about this project now when i was frogging it it was like really weird like there were some parts of it and i didn't know what was going on so i just kept picking at it and picking at it i tried my best not to snip as many strings as i could to try to keep the yarn as as whole as i could possibly but using my yarn winder was such a big help <laughs> and i highly recommend you getting one of these i'll also link this down below as well um because that helped me so much it took me about i want to say 30 minutes to um frog this project down to what i want it to but yeah thank you for joining me on yet another hog and frog adventure so down in the comments below i want to know what do you think about this decision that i made to frog half of it and hog the other half so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you like yarn and crochet related content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and like this video. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and remember, create something gorgeous. Bye guys.